Hey guys, Ty and Maria here. Our client has a cartilage defect in her right knee under the kneecap. It happened over time. There wasn't a specific impact or incident that led to her injury. The defect came from overuse over a long period of time and her knee was slowly getting weaker as she continued to play soccer. She had to get knee surgery this past March for the injury and the surgeon took out damaged cartilage and implanted new cartilage to regrow. The cartilage became weak from friction between her kneecap and bone, and as a result, little bits of cartilage started to break off. These exercises we've created for our client are meant to strengthen the muscle in her knee to better support her when exercising and to reduce the friction between bone and cartilage. The first muscle we're going to focus on strengthening are the hamstrings, which are responsible for bending the knee and moving the hips backwards. Our exercise for this muscle is bridge. By lifting up the lower body, the legs strengthen from holding the body weight. Another important muscle we need to strengthen in order to support the knee is the gluteus maximus. The gluteus maximus muscle is responsible for movement of the hip and thigh. The exercises we have to strengthen this muscle are squats and leg lifts. During leg lifts, the muscle contracts when the leg is being lifted and is released when the leg is lowered. The next exercise we have are squats, the primary exercise for the glutes. Similar to leg lifts, squats cause the glutes to contract and release when following the movement. The next exercise we have is meant to strengthen the quadriceps, one of the most important muscles in the leg. It is also a flexor of the hip, which is crucial to walking and running. The quadriceps, specifically the vastus medialis, plays the important role of stabilizing the patella and the knee joint during gait. Our exercises for this muscle are lunges. By lunging forward and contracting the muscle then releasing, the quadriceps will strengthen with repetition. The last prominent muscle we're strengthening are the calves, a supportive muscle posterior to the shin. Its function is plantar flexing the foot at the ankle joint and flexing the leg at the knee joint. Calf raises are our exercise of choice because they're the most int intimate exercise for the muscle since they directly contract and release the muscle during movement. Some more specific muscles in the quad are the sartorius, vastus medialis, and the rectus femoris. We'll strengthen these muscles with the on the side leg lifts. These leg lifts require the use of smaller muscles in the quad, just like the ones mentioned, and strengthen them through the movement of contraction and release. The first stretch we have is child's pose. With toes touching and knees spread wide in a forward folding position, this stretches out the gluteus maximus. The next stretch we have is a quad stretch. Make sure to pull your ankle in tight in order to stretch your quad muscle properly. Our hamstring stretch is the seated forward fold. By leaning forward to touch your toes, this pose not only helps with stretching, but also with flexibility. Our last pose is meant to stretch out the calves. Put your toe in the ball of your foot against the wall and lean forward into your calf to feel the stretch properly.